Hello and welcome to another video and thank you for subscribing and liking this video. So, um, whenever you have a radical equation and you have two of them, I recommend strongly that you separate them, move one of them to the other side. It makes your work faster and easier and you're less likely to make mistakes. So we have the square root of x plus 2 and then it will be 3 minus radical x minus 1. Okay. So with this, we can now square both sides. If we square this, the square root sign is going to disappear. And if we square this, it's going to be a binomial expansion. So this is going to be, um, we square both sides. This is going to leave us with x plus 2. And when we square both sides, firstly, we're going to square this, and that's going to give us 9. And then 3 times this, it's going to be 3 rad x minus 1. But you do that twice. So that's going to be minus 6 rad x minus 1. This is a skill you need to learn that this, when you multiply whatever is here by this, you now double it, that's what you get. And then when you square this last term, this sign is going to become positive and you'll be left with x minus 1. Okay, now we can clean up all the x's. There's an x here, there's an x here. You can always take both of them out, so that's not a problem. And then we can take the numbers to the other side and leave this side. So you have here 2 minus 9 plus 1 equals negative 6 square root of x minus 1. Okay, so this is negative 6 equals negative 6, right, x minus 1, and then divide both sides by negative 6, you're going to end up with 1 equals square root of x minus 1. When we square both sides, what do we get? We get um, 1 squared equals x minus 1, that's 1 equals x minus 1, and tells us that x equals 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Now, before you box it, you want to go back and say, is this answer correct? I mean, well, you got the answer, your calculation is right, but if I plug in 2 into this and this, will it give me 3? Because the crazy thing about radical equations is that sometimes the number you get as your answer does not satisfy the equation. And that happens when you square both sides. Because there are some crazy ones you're going to see in other examples in the other videos that I'm going to do. Okay, so, but let's plug in 2 here. 2 plus 2 is 4, so the square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, the square root of 1 is 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Whoa, that's correct. So remember, if you choose to not move one of the radicals to the other side, this is you're going to be dealing with a lot more complicated expressions. And let me just show you what's going to happen. You're going to have um, rad x plus 2 plus rad x minus 1 equals 3. If we choose to square both sides, okay, you're going to end up with a binomial expansion. We're going to square this, it's going to give us x plus 2. Then we're going to multiply this by this, we're going to do it twice. So it's going to be plus 2 square root of, when you multiply this by this, it's going to be x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 under the square root side, plus, if you square this, this expression, you get x minus 1, and this is going to be 9. So what we could do is um, collect all of these together. I want to show you some step you must take, okay? Do not leave anything else on this side when you want to do, when you have just one square root sign. Okay, see, we're, here we have two. Now we have one. The next step is get rid of everything that does not have the radical sign. That's how you're going to get your answer. If you make the mistake of leaving anything here before you square both sides again, the process will continue like that forever. Okay, you have to always isolate the radical sign. So that's our next step. We're going to say two radical x plus 2, x minus 1. So if you move all of these to the other side, this way you're going to get 2. Okay, this is all you needed to know. Okay, if you choose to not move everything to this side and just leave the radical term alone, you will not get the answer in the next step. And if you still don't do it in the next step, you will repeat this process forever and ever. So remember, isolate the radical sign before you square both sides. Okay, so now we have 2 as a factor. 2 will divide everything here. So if you divide through by 2, you have radical x plus 2, x minus 1 will be equal to 4 minus x. So now we can confidently square both sides. And if we square both sides, you have x plus 2, x minus 1 is equal to, if you square this, so I'm going to do this. So this is going to be 16 minus 8x plus x squared. Okay, um, this doesn't look like this, so it means I have to open this up and square it. Okay, so if I distribute this by foiling, I'm going to end up with x squared plus x minus 2 equals, if I write it this way, to x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now, this will take this out, 
subtract it from both sides. What else is there? Let's bring all the x's to this side. So you have x plus 8x equals 16 plus 2. And then you have 9x equals 18, and x will be equal to 2. Okay, remember, before you box your answer, always go back and see if it's going to work. And it looks like it's going to work because we already checked it when we did this. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like. Don't just walk away from me. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.